This is the upper bracket of the Riyadh Masters, Eastern European. They've played each other a lot. But they lost to Secret, who played with a lot of tempo. And I feel like nine pandas are the closest high tempo to what I've seen from those games where, you know, they did lose. Yeah, that is the random thing, right? <laughs> there are yeah. only two losses. Or to see, no, if that's the secret, of course, but they are in the lower bracket right now, and they've smashed everybody else. That's As Miro out, getting chased out by getting Nightfall. Clapped. And the chase continues. Boundless Strike is there. He pops the wand, but it's not going to get up. Purifying Flames from Toronto, Tokyo. And BBT will be able to take first blood for themselves. Okay, let's, again, back to the blue boy, Mr. Ramses. Back to the Smurf. Yep. Uh, what is the power spike for this hero. Like, are you just looking for... I understand why they picked it, because of the fast tempo yeah. and against the Storm Spirit. I assume you're going to want Blink Dagger at some point. It's, it's like Blink Dagger, BKB, something like that. GPK, yeah. he's getting Chase, Antares, and Kiyotaka will claim him eventually. It's going to go to Antares here. Like that move from Antares, of course. Midas is coming, though, for him. So we'll see where the first little Batman ult will be used. Yeah, from... If memory holds, it's... The old build, at least, is Midas into Blink BKB. And the Crippling Fear, obviously, is the Ooh, big thing against I like this move, though. Miero. He's gating to bottom. Yep, he's Blood coming. Nightfall. Pops that old Ramses right on top of Nightfall. Miero takes the kill. A nice first ult coming out from Ramses. They're going to possibly take this tier one as well as the fortification comes out, though. Yeah, I think so. This Ice Armor 2 on Terry is very important. That's no. Two Miro, he's here taking a smoke. ton of damage. Go global. But the global comes out, trying to walk it off. Is the silence? Oh, there's the silence. You can see the crippling oh. fear keeping GPK in place. Cannot use that ultimate at all. Toronto, Tokyo looks to be next as just in time as Ramsey's ult runs out. So now he's back to being a completely worthless hero. I would say he's uh, very good for them. If you mentioned he has his own Mida, so he's going to be scaling incredibly well as well in this game. Damn, that's the way he likes to play, doesn't matter. No, he sees Ramsey's he by a Midas, he's like, I want that too. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, bad metal ult. Yep, they're gonna try to contest Nightfall this. Looking for the Wukong. Gets off the Wukong's command just in time. The Crippling Fear a little bit too late. Big zip from GPK, so he's already at half mana capacity. But the Wukong's command doesn't really they end need up to stay together. In the end, the Shackle Shot is there. Ramsey's goes up to the top and takes out Toronto, Tokyo. The Doom applies Everyone to GPK has to as disengage. well. Everyone has to And you can see Ramsey's trying to find other people because they know that this likely will be a kill onto the Storm Spirit. And Kiyotaka is just barely able to finish him off. Double kill for him, three kills overall, as Nine Panda is looking very good in the early game. Um, actually, it was daytime still. So it's actually on the opposite side of the map because it does not go back and forth whenever Night Stalker ults. <laughs> that would be a hilarious mechanic. <laughs> actually, that would be. <laughs> the same with like Phoenix Eggs, you just run back and forth. That Look at Kiyotaka, he, he waits with the last hit. He's like, this is my kill, I wait. There you go. Yeah, easy peasy. Uh, easy for him, as that's just, this is kooky kind of play how you want to play like Night Stalker drafts. As Kiyotaka has his glip glop, as he like to call it. Mm -hmm. It will see it soon. It will come as, once again, nine panels, like when they have their stuff available and they smoke on you, if you're not in a good position on BB team, you're definitely going to be in trouble. It's cute, Taka. Shackle shot with the focus fire set up by the Gleipnir. Here does get up the Dragon Tail. Global Silence came out. Is it enough? Kiyotaka continue to chase from here on the other side. Oh, promise. Most promise up from Toronto, Tokyo. Now trying to turn it around as a big zip from GPK again, and Kiyotaka will pay the ultimate price. Solo is there as well. All for naught, though. Two dead. Ooh. And nine pandas giving BB team a little bit of life here. Yeah, and we should mention Miero does have Blink Dagger on Doom, but has not found the Centaur Stomp yet. Is sticking with the armor for the time being, but this is one of those situations like, please yeah. just spawn in the jungle. I'm He's going to be looking for that as they're here and ready. Getting off, trying to get out the Doom potentially, but the Crippling Fear is there first from Ramsey, so no need. Easy pickoff on the side of nine pandas and GPK and company on the run. Gleipnir ends up spotting save. So again, the two supports of 2XB team are down. Honestly, they, they just can't play on BB team. Uh, like, their supports, when this Batman flies at you, like, what do you do? You're forced to run. You have to wait until pure and Nightfall, like, get one or two BKB so that they can stand their ground and, like, beat this wall. As for, they're diving your Dragon Knight. Yeah, Ramsey's not doing that much damage, but Kiyotaka is here. He does a lot. Focus oh, fire as well. Do they have enough damage? They Dark do. Grenade. Indeed. Toronto Tokyo TPs in along with GPK. They're kind of splitting their efforts here. Kiyotaka does drop though. They get a very valuable kill. And Solo is going to be the collateral 
as Nine Pandas will be able to get out with the rest of their lineup. So a bit punished there. I mean, this DK is the position three and you're losing your mid laner and a support. Yeah, I'm actually pretty surprised that Ramsey is not going a blink dagger. So they're just going to rely on the initiation mm -hmm. coming out from the likes of Doom because he's going nullifier. He has BKB yeah. Midas and then nullifier to come, which against the storms does surprise me a bit. But perhaps because there's an Oracle in the back. Yeah, there's Doom. The initiation from Miero. The Doom is there, and you can see the Oracle just waiting to get off the spell. But the Global Silence came out, and Toronto Tokyo has to run back in shame. One goes down for BB Team. DK is honestly not, like, you cannot underestimate this hero. This hero gets to click a lot just because you're just naturally so tanky. Eventually, it's hard for people to kill you or kind of go on you. As now, do you need to play around Roche? That's safe. Life near Kiyotaka. You're just He's dead, bro. Off. Here comes well, GPK, though. GPK, so it ends up being another trade in the favor of 2XB team. That was a great bait here from Safe. He gets off his ult, his solar bind, the vessel, even that alone, but then GPK just zipping over, like that's a big kill. Nullifier now online for Ramsey. That's a big one. As BB team get off their smoke. See if they're able to find anybody. They're actually really deep in Ramsey. Ooh, Ramsey. The Dragatil initiation into the electric vortex. Great move. Down goes the smart in more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's just a great move. This is a post four. It's the same network as the enemy mid. Has he not found a centaur still? <laughs> is he not looking for one? I mean, I, my somewhere is not that bad, but yeah, he definitely wants a centaur storm, right? You just get in there with your team. Oh, oh he's going to go that would have been a good time to go on with the centaur storm, but okay. he have it. Like we said, BKB's pop galore now. Big, Big shackle! From the arrow into the shackle, and it looks like that is the death of GPK. The false promise right now on the Monkey King, but he is doomed up. And we'd be brought down, so two cores dead for B-Boom. I mean, nine pandas just don't care that one of the heroes is dead. You don't have Doom, but you have all the other spells to just continue to play aggressive on the map. It's also nighttime, so... Yeah, nine pandas. The type of tempo they always play with the heroes and how they collapse on the map is just really top tier. As... Oh, Mr. Q uh, joining the party. The Aegis just going... I guess so. Uh, hold. He actually pops his BK to getting focus fire onto Pure as well. Whoa. The rest of Beboop team are uh -oh. here. And that is the Aegis down. And along with that BKB, they're going to get him again. I think you said. That is really unfortunate for Nine Pandas. Wow. Sometimes you just go in the gate and there's 18 heroes waiting for you. I guess so. <laughs> Nine Pandas should maybe sniff that something's coming their way. Awesome. And Mira with a sheep stick, Lotus, SNK, he is very farmed right now. Top net worth in the game. And it is definitely showing as Ramsey's in a pretty good spot to pop this smoke. Pure actually jumps in, he gets hexed, and he's going to get doomed and brought down instantly. Look at the call Huge as reaction well. from Nine Panda. He's going to go for save as well. He's going to get saved, though, for the time being. No pun intended. Big balance strike on to three all nine heroes. Back. And Nine Pandas, they're going to lose their Wind Ranger along with their Silencer. And it looks like Solo will buy back at the very least, but another jump in from Ramsey with that crippling fear. He has that ult still activated. It's going to be daytime against fairly soon, and that turns into a double kill for Nightfall. Now this is extended fight. Ramsey has no beacon. And Ramsey's. Oh, he's going to get. Going to get purged. He's under attack. And they still have some chase. GPK is out of mana though, but Ramsey's with the cover of the night. Will find a distance, but the balance strike does connect, and Nightfall and company able to take out the position one. Look at Solo. I don't know. Pandas. I don't know if they're gonna look for Solo, but he was stuck on the high ground without a TP for like <laughs> 20 <laughs> seconds. But they don't care. We can see Roche being attended to right now by Nine Pandas. They're on a ward. Team are somewhat close, especially for GPK. They're gonna deward once here, and the exiting of the pit. GPK right on the other side of the trees. DK form is popped. A lot of the illusions come out as well, confusing the crap out of nine pandas. As Antares, he has to use his BKB, so a bit of a waste. Nice bait there from BB team. They force the BKB and Ramsey's ult. It's a big zip again. They find Ramsey. Trying to go on to Ramsey. He's at half HP, trying to force these BKBs out. But Roach, we can see, is getting pretty low. And nine pandas will eventually secure it for themselves. So that's Aegis and Cheese this time around. I wouldn't say they're necessarily on a timer, but whenever they have their spells, they want to keep pushing forward. Like, they want to slowly increase the net worth more and more. As Kiyotaka, my man is a madman. He lost the ages earlier. He don't care. 
<laughs> he's legit 1v5 right now. Yeah, he's ready he to backstab. Really is, and he's going to be Hello, spotted. Dave. Shackle, actually going to nice continue global. on. That's an easy pickup for him. He's all alone. The Doom onto GPK, though, as Kiyotaka finally pops the BKB. He's getting pursued now by Pure. And Teres, can he actually finish the job? Here comes Batman. Ramsey's focusing on the backline support. That's a dead Toronto Tokyo now continuing on here onto GPK, who's still doomed, and finally it runs out. And with cover of that Wukong command, able to finally get the hell out as Pure has to BKB and run away in his pathetic melee form. <laughs> we'll see if that's enough for Nine Pandas to try to knock down some buildings. And it looks like this fortification will come out, but it's not going to be enough to save uh, BB Team's racks. So the melee will go down as the Dragon Tail does connect on to Miero. As Antares actually jumps in a little deep. It's off the Glimmer, though, as the Agnes Scepter now online for GPK, who's trying to show this off, but the BKB from Antares is able to TP out. GPK's Lincoln's now popped. And Solo, if that's all they can get, this is not the greatest. But they'll take it. Solo See will if they can find more on the map. Give his life away as Nine Panas. They're just going to try to chill. Big man Solo, Solo boy. <laughs> with a refresher orb. Okay, this is a very... I mean, if there wasn't the four staff there, this would be a slacks build. <laughs> Like, it's just brown boots refresher, it feels like. Uh, this is My disgusting. Goodness. I don't want to be Oracle in this game. I don't know how Toronto Tokyo is going to manage to have a good fight. Maybe he has to AFK in the fountain or have a buyback, but it's not going to be easy. As there's nighttime in Miro. Yeah, we have a damn Now, this guy is very hard Global to number kill. one. Lotus is there. Yep, first global. They don't Maybe know he should give a damn. They have the nullifier apply to him. Oh. Gets the triple chain, but it's not going to work. And down he goes, despite feeling unkillable. Oh, and Terry's. Find a way, and then Terry's gets pulled back into the fray. And Ooh, what a shack. Well, Ramsey showing us some of the glide here from Kiyotaka is there. They're able to decimate Nightfall in the time being. But the buyback coming out from Antares as well, because he does have the Doom still available. But oh, nice good pull. PK stun onto two with that Aghanim Scepter. And Solo left with no mana, but of course the focus is the Wind Ranger, and Terry does get the Doom up, but the instant false promise and the heals from the shard of the Oracle are there. So nine pandas end up losing this fight. A few buybacks here and there, though. Mid lane is available. You can see their base is getting pushed. The range racks was eventually taken, but that lane was effectively I think taken Ramsey out a while ago. Pure in the DK form now. Getting their second lane of racks, and now they have a good idea that there are no buybacks for nine pandas. And all they can do is just watch their base get destroyed. Okay, that's of course, a there is a tier two bot, so that's as far as they can go, unless they wanted to go for the throne. I mean, GPK, does he currently have buyback? Let's see. He does. He does indeed. I mean, let's see. I'm pretty sure that Nightfall could just drop his boots and pick it up, but let's see how they want to play. If he just feels yeah, like, okay. Ramsey's in company. They want to yeah. contest. They're going to be too late, though. Be too late. Aegis, Cheese, Refresher, Shard. I say it's too late, but they still want to fight, apparently. Lincolns. Shackle shot blocked by the Lincolns. And BB team on the run, trying to Ooh, reset. Good definitely trying to GPK, has to use his BKB. Oh, they tried to the lower the BKB. Tech, it pops the cheese so he can definitely get away, but this is an even bigger kill if they can get Nightfall, but the false promise comes out. The Wukong's command to follow, and the Bowler strike with the Harpoon used onto the Night Stalker. Ramsey, Ooh, GPK's barely on the outskirts, will be able to live throughout this engagement. They kill GPK, who buys back instantly. And Solo, the only he got recalled for nine pandas. You can see the rest trying to TP out. Big zip again from GPK. Kiyotaka oh. just out of vision. Holy. All right, this is all about buybacks now, especially with GPK. I mean, the fact using that. Using his right there. Ramsey's got out like that. Like, they actually got a buyback out of Boom Boom team there. Oh. And Kiyotaka goes on pure. Yeah, the nullifier not going to do too much, and the focus fire just absolutely oh God, destroying okay. here, but he has some backup now in the form of GPK, who is out of mana, but they're going to get the Vortex on the Kiyotaka, completely surrounded, no buyback for him. He has Despite no buyback. Despite being down this entire game, oh, BB gross. team are very close to actually winning this game. You know, I, I kind of get behind it. I don't mind, as also he's back in base. He's going to be able to be recalled, of course, by the old man save on his little Gandalf horse. Should mention Antares. I'm not sure how long he's had it, but he has the Aghanim Scepter, so AoE Ooh. Doom is online. Sheep onto Pure. Ooh, sold a That's refresher by Kiyotaka. Yeah, he used Ooh. a refresher. Kiyotaka really Good deep up for the Focus Fire, and now all the pressure is applied to this Coddle. Will That's drop. a big Wukong. But Kiyotaka gets brought back in. He's extremely low. He's Can they take him out? They do. Buyback still intact, of course. They took out Ramses as well. 
Oh, Got some attack. They break down the tree. AoE Doom from Antares. He's gonna pop the BKB as well. Double buyback from Nine Pandas now. And remember, this false promise on the Monkey King. He will not have buyback, I believe. Or maybe he does. I might be making that up. AoE Doom's got the off, but they have the damage from afar. Triple You're buyback. Pounding into him. Doom is dead. As GPK completely out of mana, they get an instant glide from the onto the Monkey King. But Ramsey oh, is the, the one jackal. taking the damage, trying to get away with that BKB. But the control is there, and the damage from Kiyotaka too much to handle. Nightfall is dead with no buyback, and now Pure completely surrounded by members of Nine Pandas. He will drop to the deck as well. His buyback remains. And this is such a Ooh. back and forth affair between these two teams. I will say this though, Nine Pandas. I mean. They are very farmed. Their building damage is not like the craziest. So like Focus fires one building at a time. The cooldown is relatively long. As Kiyotaka, he's going to be found out by GPK. No way. Doubt they have the damage here. Oh, oh what? I say that, but this shard is absurd from GPK. How in the hell? He got the 25 talent as well on top. And that is essentially a dieback for Kiyotaka. Uh, that is an, How? That's an illegal. How? That's an illegal play. He was not allowed to do that. <laughs> oh my god! Well, save. That's your job. Now. Save the patient boy. Don't. Yep. He got it. Oh! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> right on cue. Roche is up, everybody. Oh, oh, that's a global. First global silence coming out. Not really to much effect, though. Jesus, look at these illusions. Solo's Kill him. Getting run down by illusions. GPK is there. He pops the E on this. There's a refresher from Solo. Oh, Ooh, they didn't get the doom off. Onto two. Refresher from Nightfall as well. Apparently, it's the shard in addition. He went through the boundless strike. Two dead for nine pandas. Both of which do have buyback, and I'm sure that BB team will be scouting out Roche. <laughs> Double BKB, double Bounder Strike, double Meta, double Wukong Swing, whatever it may be, Refresher is just such a sick and high skill late game item. Yeah. And GPK was pushing out bot lane, but you can see he didn't really push it that far, so that's still a concern for them. Instant fortune's oh, end. I don't know okay. if I've ever seen that, actually. I, yeah. That looked, well, we're about to see it. a bit weird. As we're smoking into the dire base. Yep, Kiyotaka there to defend. Nightfall is hitting the range right now. Focus fire from Kiyotaka. That's going to force a buyback on the fire. Saw Nightfall nullified for now. The big zipping from GPK pops his BKB as well. Gets the electric vortex on to do with the balance strike the bow and the Wukong's command. Ramsey's just dead. Ramsey's is dead with no buyback. This is going to be mega creeps for BB team. Can they get more? I'm sure they're going to try to get more. They have the Aegis. They have the cheese. Actually on the Oracle of all heroes, knowing that they have the buybacks on basically everybody else right now. I mean, if, if they timed it properly, they know Ramsey does not have buyback for like another 40 seconds. And they still have... Um, they don't have Refresher, but they still have the Aegis, and Pure can just whack away with yep. his dragons. What are they going to do the about dragons it? dragons are doing AOE a lot of damage, and Terry jumps in with the AoE Doom, but he gets controlled right off Go the back. Go Electric Vortex again from GPK. The Doom is dead. Instantly buys back. The Aegis is gone now, though. For B-Boom is Miero. He's completely isolated he can't from move. the rest of his team. Bashed up, Abyssal Bladed, and eventually will be brought down despite being ridiculously tanky. GPK is buyback. Now 5v3. GPK apparently tied and bought back, like you said. And Terrace is going to show himself with that Glimmer Cape coming out with the BKB. Gets instantly sheathed and nullified. And there's the jump again from GPK. Ooh, the going to be misses. dodged. Nicely done as the building slowly crumbling here. Four nine pandas. Pure jumps in, not able to get a connection. But now the Ancient is fully exposed. There's a global. Global Silence comes out. out there's the Harpoon again. This time on Takeo Taka. He's completely uh, thrashed. Trying to get the focus fire on the Pure. He's going to die though. Buys back instantly. Only two left for nine pandas. GG. But they GG out. And two X. Unreal! <laughs> My god, Boom Boom team, they just stay in this game, know all their timings, and they just take nine pandas out. They had so many good fights, but they just crumble once or twice, and Mr. Double Square Root B Boom team, they just they just do it. Unbelievable game. BB team versus nine pandas game number two, best of three in the upper bracket. First game was godly. But Kerry Lycan doesn't care about Playing into Doom, you're not really going to build the Helm of Overlord. I think you can just skip that. You can go for your classic Treads, Echo, go some maybe Manta style, upgrade into Harpoon, maybe some AC. So as GPK, oh, that was Mando, yeah, baby. that's a first blood, all right. Oh, all those times he challenged you in the 1v1 mid and his pubs, <laughs> the paying off, triple Mango, that's triple right. Raise. Another deny, mm, GPK, double Raise.
Yep. Shield Back Ruin Requiem. Again for GPK. I'm not a deny. Oh, this is, uh, you got to be fuming right now. Yep. <laughs> SBP team. Oh, oh Ramses get taken out. He goes boom. Blast off from save. Yeah, bring in the boom to nine pandas. <laughs> it's got to be the most, I mean, he is, he's practicing CSing right now. <laughs> As, yeah, this is a trainer in a pro game. Oh, man. This at is a not... 15 million dollar tournament. Uh, yeah, this is probably the hardest we've seen a mid lane get dumpstered on. Yeah, I Ramsey's, think so. Does yeah, get Ramsey's, off the capital rage. He does. It's going to give him some, a lot of regen, but it's just still too much damage. Second death for him, and now the tier one tower is going to take a hefty amount of damage. Solo is there with an echo stomp, but he has to run away shortly after in shame. Uh oh. Not in there in time for Ramsey's. Nine pandas are losing their mid and top tower. They're going to lose their captain as well in a moment. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Or are Solo. they? Oh, Around the road where, he where goes, man. joining Ramses in the lane again, but he's going to get dragon tailed. Another, Another blast, off blast to come. Off. If they get him again, yeah. he, they will easily. Actually, he's just surrounded. And Nightfall and company just shredding this top lane. Solo, he's going to get some backup via Kiyotaka. See if as a GPK gets the mid lane. Oh, boy. It, this is, I think, probably the lowest I've ever seen in any position on a Meepo. Because the entire point of this hero is that you are out farming everybody. And you're out XPing everybody. You need to get these power spikes really early. And oh, something's happening mid, though. They got the Doom. Speaking of which, Ooh, Miero. Like finally going to get some revenge onto GPK and Kiyotaka. Game-winning move right there hit. from Miero. That's the biggest kill on the entire map. As the Midas almost there for pure. So going for essentially the same build up this time around. Mm, just in reverse order. Not Midas first, but Blink into Midas. I'm okay with that. There's GP. Ooh. Oh, they Kiyo find Daddy. Kiyotaka. Can he get the poof off? Last off is there. GPK with the double damage. Oh. One more right click. Not quite enough, but the second oh, Evo the is also low. Spreading the damage. Yo, this GPK hurts. Relax, everyone. Run. Yeah, Ramses, he's going to get dragged. Stolen mines. Link from pure. Echo stomp onto oh two. Oh my god. Massive damage. Double kill for Antares. GPK not mm. able to get off the Requiem. And just like that, after killing Meepo, they lose four. Dude, it happened last time too. Antares is the best techies in Dota, man. Holy damn. 6k deficit. Yep. What you do, brothers? 7k. That was a pretty massive turnaround. But. BB team will get the first Roche, and Aegis, like you said, will go to GPK. That is a good question. As Philly Stone, the best tier two support item for Enigma. Honestly, huh? I feel like it changes support Enigma. The fact that you can choose your item now, let's hold that for a bit pure. Gonna get stun locked forever and yeah. die. The poofs are kind of destroying him. Earthbind's continuing to be applied, and pure eventually will drop. Without a, a teammate nearby, that's uh, Ooh, an easy Kiyo pick Kiyo Taka doing him dirty. Okay, we got the tips coming out. Radiance Double BKB timing. You want pure to get it, you want GPK to get it. They're not too far off. And then even though you are down 7k gold, they will give you a bit of more like breathing room and fight back power. Ooh. Yep, Mr. Save. Save. He actually is spotted thanks to the dust and up oh, Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka's going to see our target in the mid lane. And Pure, we've seen this story before, but the Good same blast a very nice blast up. But the Mega Meepo comes out, Nightfall. He does a lot of single oh, target sheesh. damage, though. He absolutely destroys the Meepo. And big Echo Stop on the three heroes big with the Twitter. easy ult on top. Pure is dead. It's a one for one, but now the chase Ooh, is completely, the nightfall, completely destroying Ramses. Ooh. Forced to BKB with that chemical rage and get away. And despite being doomed, GPK will live through the engagement. To reduce the attack damage even more, especially when you play against some Meepos, who has like multiple of them, unless he really stacks it up. So just helping your team kind of survive as he now queues up the harpoon. Try to stay on top of people. Yep, uh, we might have a fight breakout. Right, looking for an opening to the dragon. Oh, on Miero with the blast off to follow. Do they have the first nice save. Telekin needs to save and he gets the Crimson Guard off and the Doom. He might fall shortly after. Actually, he's going to stay alive because oh, they have the Earth on the Nightfall. He is brought down from 100 to 0 instantly. But the Doom does die shortly after. It's a one for one. They can see save left to his own devices. The Requiem on the other side from GPK. Perhaps trying to save his support from afar, but nope, it was not work. successful at all. Yep, so this will be Aegis and Cheese for the side of Nine Pandas. Kiyotaka, of course, will be taking the Aegis and the Cheese onto Ramses. Oh, that's a good question, Shannon.
that I can. They have two me. shards right now. Actually, Meepo does have his. He got it from the tormentor. Yeah, so I he just got it from the tormentor. And Hiotaka has his shard, so He's Dig got... is available. Dig is available. Yes. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, Mega Meepo was there, but the black hole right on top is Nightfall. Right clicking. They're coming. The and he has bar, it. What and the... there's the dig. What the juice? But oh, oh Meepo yeah. gets off the doom. Crimson Guard is there for Kiyotaka. He's getting away with just a sliver of AP. He's still alive. And now they have the control onto Nightfall. He's dead, along with Toronto Tokyo. Save coming in to try to finish off the Meepo, but it's not to be. Remember, this Meepo had Aegis the entire time. He didn't even get able to survive through the doom, but looks like that'll be the end of the fight. It's a three for nothing. B Boom team. I mean, they're, they're deep their pushes. heroes will be coming back shortly, but I think you just have to give up these set this set of racks. Yeah, like you, and there's still three minutes on this Aegis. Uh, BB team, they just got off to a really good start in the lanes, but 17% still for Mr. Team BB Square Root. Ah, uh, Gaben is being generous today. Yeah, Agon of Scepter now online for the DK, but you can see, see Yotaka. Yeah, that was an enigma. No longer, though. Malefis on Rubik as well. Not something to scoff at. That's a good stun. And spawning more Eidolons as well for the push. There is still a Tier 2 and Tier 1 top, so they cannot get Megas. But, I mean, with the Aegis, maybe they poke at the Tier 4 to force some TP back, but... It's okay. I mean, what, what do you think of their high ground defense in general for BB Team? Because if you're looking at the other side, like again, the ET, crazy good. Yeah. I mean, Rubik, with this much farm, crazy good. Sure, like if. Oh, hold on, solo. Yep, nullifier on him. He's dead. Maybe he, but is he dead or is he baiting? And does want to continue come. here? The concoction's there. BKB from Ramsey's more than enough as GPK melts under the pressure. Save eventually gonna get chipped. It's just getting burned. As Miero did get pretty low, but just like that, three dead for the Boom Squad team. Boom. Boom. It doesn't matter about the high ground defense when you just bait your enemy team to fight you. 35k gold down around this area, and then just go in, clean it up, and now you go straight into the high ground. Yep, Mega Meepo's there. 6,000 HP, Force all good. Galore with the Crimson Guard. Good luck killing the Meepo, but they find a target in Ramsey Ooh. that actually is killable. Popping the BKB from Nightfall to try to shred right through Ramsey. Okay, they, they got so. him. Good kill from Boom Boom team. Unluckily for Mr. Boom Boom, Roche is not quite respawning in time. Very difficult. Swiftling running in. He's just clearing some mines. He's minesweeper duty. I mean, lanes are slowly pushing. You know, nine pandas, they can just play the clock here. They're, yeah, they're not on the timer. Creeps are in the base. Ooh, they see Miero. Lycan ult comes out. Nice telekinesis to save. Dodging saves initiation. Oh, Kiyotaka himself, back. As Kiyotaka goes into the back line, absolutely destroys Toronto Tokyo. Nice ET ult onto Wanda. Continue to control Nine It's like he's popping the BKB, though. will eventually take Amira, but no. The Glimmer saves him. Buyback coming out from the ET. As Nightfall now trying to run away as Kiyotaka oh, throwing freedom. the Meepo's oh, left, right, and center via his Aghanim Scepter. And there's the Sheep Stick, and down goes Nightfall away. Oh. Glimmer Cape. Can they find the distance? He's going to go to high ground. Might be able to but in the meantime, they're going to lose pure. So Nightfall does actually get out. Jesus, back and forth. But JPK. He breaks some ankles, but GPK. Not as lucky. And the rest of his team not going to be having the same fate. So four dead for BB team as nine pandas can. Well, they can go for Roche. They can go for Megas. And we can see only one buyback here. Oh, GG's called. DK, and GG is called. Man, this game absolutely this fell apart for BB team. Uh, with that one engagement. I mean, they had like the sickest early game or like the sickest mid lane with GPK, but yeah. some game-winning moves from Miero early getting that kill. Antares with some sick saves coming back and forth. And honestly, the nine panda drafts, they just come crumbling down on you at some time. And if you're not ready, I think it doesn't matter how well your lanes go. You gotta be ready to fight them. This is what I love about their drafts. These two teams are so unpredictable in both their picks. Sometimes they get disqualified from series after the, the fact. You never know what's going to happen. Double block grenade, on. by the way. We're up to okay, two. Yeah, slowly getting Oh, there. it's going to be popped. With the Maledict and the Blood Grenade has come. Look at coming it go. For pure, and that is going to be first blood oh, for yeah. Mr. Ramsey's. And he couldn't ask for a better start. Oh, the Ram Dog with a tip side. too. Absolutely. He's feeling, he's feeling it. As I must say that Miero is struggling in the bottom lane with eight CS. So yeah, 
Well, that's what happens when you can't have Eidolons. <laughs> that is very true. It's a difficult oh. one. Blood Grenade with the Maledict again. Concoctions coming for Pure. Do they have the damage to burst through them? That's two levels Maledict, baby. Yeah, Maledict, one more proc will come. And that go. should be enough for him to pop and solo. It's 450. Yeah, looking to cancel this pull and to Clarity. And pot. Beautiful. 20 net worth down. And bottom lane, That's another Nightfall. blood grenade with the Infernal Blade on top of Nightfall. And he does get his homing missile off, but and Toronto Tokyo not there fast enough to actually assist. And the Wisdom Runes were traded, by the way, so no steals. And that feels like, even though we don't mention it all the time, it's big. maybe the biggest part of the first <laughs> in some ways, other than the first blood, GPK. Getting focus fired by Kiyotaka. Save is in the area to try to help. Of course, GPK is level seven, so he can zip. Oh, the coming in with a blood grenade and the heals now. Kiyotaka will die just barely to the illuminate from save. And GPK getting a little refresh of the mana. I like the smoke to bottom. You want to allow Nightfall to continue to stay here, but he can do it on his own. So you smoke here to try and help him and anticipate this Enigma move on him. Ooh, yeah. and Terry breaking the smoke okay. with the end of this. Breaking, GPK going for the longs. And oh! Nightfall comes out just in time. Do they have the control with the Shackle Shot coming from Kiyotaka? But the false promise is there to save GPK. And down goes Miero. So ends up being a successful gank here for Banana Slam Jamma team as Nine Pandas now on the run. But overall, good move for DB Square. As now we go straight to top, we want to say hello to our Ram Dog. Who's farming the easy cam right now? No chemical rage. Yeah, they're gonna find That's a him. quick move. He had the 12 minute relic. relic. And is that how? Yeah, this guy actually be a super easy kill. Oh, he didn't have the courier there to buy yeah, it. That's unfortunate. But I mean, it's it's very it's like two creeps for him. So <laughs> <laughs> he'll get the radiance. No big deal. Great moves though. Yeah. So BB team, they they do spot these stacks, and obviously they would love to try to counteract Ooh. this a bit. They're smoking the up Alchemist though. Alchemist will take these very quickly. They know that they're coming, so they're smoking. Okay, he's gonna actually spot this with the Atos, but the call down is there. GPK gets a nice initiation off Kiyotaka and Antares taking massive damage. Ramsey's, all he can really do is put out Concoction. Oh, and the call from Pure. He now gets called, he's super low. That oh, only the only is there. Choppity chop for Mr. Pure. Oh, the power shot. They do find Toronto Tokyo in the end, but it's still a one for two in favor of BB team. He's looking for the blink. Solo. Another dumb text. Oh. He has the heal. Let him oh, dump. Oh, yeah. Double kill for pure. Into the double stacks on his ult. Beautiful. As they just abuse Miro. Then having an ult and Nightfall. Gyrocopter is the king of oh. these early invading plays as they get double wisdom rune. This blink dagger really paying off for pure. It's been two initiations already as this tier one tower is fortified. But you have to think that BB team will be able to get this, although some members of Nine Pandas in the area to potentially defend. Ooh. There's another call coming out this time on Kiyotaka, and it's going to force out oh, the rest of Nine Pandas end. who were hiding in oh, the range. Ramsey's, Ramsey's going to stun himself, though. Shackle Shot will not connect. The GPK comes in with the shield Kiyo Kiyotaka. Oh, the, the black hole! the black hole. Is there any save to come? No. No, no false promise. GPK Akuda. is dead. Ooh, both mid laners going a little too ham at some stages of this game. Uh, so he's going to farm double ancients as there's a little cobalt following solo to give him some more GPM. Very cool. Amp here has something being delivered right now. I'm guessing it's the blade mail. It's an item, yes. That is a blade mail indeed. Oh, and he's use it right off the bat. Chop. Another chop is there for pure. And that is three stacks of calling blades for him. Three at 16 is pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. It works retroactive. No, no, that's not what I was going to okay. ask. How dare you? <laughs> when you get to the 20 talent, yeah. how do you choose? How many stacks do you? Okay, we hold that thought. You actually ruined my entire thought process as Zentera. Okay, is, try again. Is taking out, okay? Try again. How many stacks of Calling Blade do you need to feel like it's worth taking that talent? Eight. Eight's the number. You need at least eight, and it needs to be a game where you need armor as hold that. That's chop number four. Could be on the menu. Yeah, Ramses. Just kidding. Does not have his ult. Just kidding. He does have solo. He does self stun. on himself. <gasps> he goes boom. Oh, he could go back in. GPK comes oh. back in. Pure not able to get the calling blade, but might chop. be able to get one on solo instead. Oh, and pure in real does. life, he even chopped. Did you see that? Pure is having a monster game. Very diff for Alk to do the same thing as NS, he needs a blink. So that they have to wait for that right now, and then they have to go ham in the next fight. Yep. Well, many, many pings coming like out. Talked about Kiyotaka with the Maelstrom. Gets a nice shackle. shackle. 
Here's one quite a bit of gold. Yutaka's Yutaka's taking himself. Alex does get the blade mail off, but he will eventually tick out one way or the other, and Solo gets a massive payout for that kill. But like you said, Antares is the trade. Yeah, he kind of gave his life away to make sure that they couldn't trade. And they they as GPK. And they get chalked in just so much moment. damage. Miero trying to the run flag. away as... Oh. Yeah, the false promise gone pretty early uh -oh. onto Nightfall with the black hole on the other side for GPK. He's completely out of mana. Now the focus fire applied as well, but those are they both dying? Able to keep him in place, but he's not able to walk away because he has got nothing to work with. GPK overextends again. Nightfall able to get out, luckily for him, but yeah, you get one chakra and that's it. Usually for a fight, yeah, maybe oh, two. There's a vessel. One minute. That yep, one solo. second, Jesus. I hear a zip. That means GPK wants to come in for more. <laughs> it means GPK is in the yeah. fight. That's, That's pure. The pick off is Nero showing himself. Oh, nice play. Gets the call off, bringing him back into save. Ooh. GPK. Well, very good. They got multiple stuns, in fact, and that's another chop for pure. That's five stacks. You have acid spray. You have the helm of the Overlord. You have focus fire. You also have the heal to pe keep people alive. But I think. The blobs are coming. He <laughs> <laughs> got me. See, you you can't just cast after saying that. Impossible. Roach. They got it though. This is a, again yeah, a huge a really deal when fast, you're behind. Really fast, Roach. The acid spray helping out quite a bit. Ooh, and Kyotaka's got this Kyotaka, one. They're going to smoke as well, but Pure wants to continue here. Looking for the call, oh. but he's going to get... And he's actually going to be able to blink out of the Gleipnir, so nicely done from him. They're still around, though. They still want to fight. GPK really deep, okay. as usual. They as force the rage. Manic now there for Nightfall, so he is very farmed. Oh, I mean, Nightfall can frontline. I like 3,200 HP on this Gyrocopter. He is a big boy in this yeah. game. He's huge. He's online. Crystalis Satanic Aghanim Scepter. This, I mean, you're going against the Aegis. But oh my boy, we're at the edge of the pure. world right here, my yeah. friends. His smoke does not pop. Wait, save. They pop now. They know they're back here. This is a huge fight now. Solo is going to be the first to fall like but he has great stun coming out. He's going to die twice again. He's actually living thanks to the Pavis. His GPK completely out of matter. They're going to be able to get that Aegis relatively easily. And now all alone is Kiyotaka. We've seen this before as well. Gets a nice shackle shot, but the False Promise is going to keep Pure alive along with the... The purifying flame, so it ends up being a two for one, but that doesn't even include the factor of you're getting rid of the Aegis basically instantly. The pure also has a BKB. He's gonna have some very good team fighting. The five stacks, the blade mail, boots of travel as well. He's well equipped to fight. Paris with the glimmer cape. Vision. Trying to delete this. He's going to get jumped, though. Gleipnir onto two. The four stack. GPK's on the oh, back. Counter initiation from Pure with the call on two and the blade mail to follow. They delete the Doom to start. Solo's next on the list as Nightfall is monstrous. This is a huge gyrocopter. Fear was talking about. I mean, the fact that you have the Ag Satanic now. Yeah. I don't know how you kill this guy without just outnumbering him. And then somehow black hole the gyro after the supports are dead or something like that. But that will only happen if you start the fight. And we haven't seen Nine Panda start the fight as BB. They're ready for this. GPK. Yeah. There's the opener again. GPK doing his usual Ooh. stuff here. Not able to hit the call though. Is Kiyotaka trying to dodge left, right, and center. Still Not able dead. to get the shackle shot off. And Kiyotaka will fall in the end. As he's double teamed there, but Miero. As we're gonna see uh, Nightfall kill steal from Pure with a beautiful TP cancel. Dyer's top Psychic Headband has this much range, huh? Like a, you mean on the pushback? Yeah. That Dyer's seems really far. Like I guess he has to go through the terrain, so it makes it look yeah. farther than it is. It's Both fake on by Nine Pan as Ramses Ramsey's. gets off the concoction. You can see the gyrocopter completely ignored, and for good whoa, reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take out save though to start by Pure with a nice initiation found an onto the Enigma. He chops him to the ground, and now the heels coming out from Toronto, Tokyo from afar. Already three dead for Nine Pandas. Now one buyback as Ramsey's able to just whoa. barely get out. But it feels like BB team are just on top of every fight. So but even around the here. tier 1s, maybe there's buybacks potentially available. Oracle has it. Like, it, you have to be careful. You cannot find around the enemy territory. Oh, they <laughs> actually do find them. Wow. With the, call, one. with the culling blade, Ooh. seven stacks. He's one level to go. Oh, he's going to get it at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Yeah, yep, absolutely. Aegis and Cheese will drop. And Aegis goes to Nightfall, so he will be the building hitter. 
He, he didn't get the eight. Oh, wow. He didn't get the eight charges. Yeah, you're right. You were right all along. Of course, as, oh, the five man GG smoke. This is what nine pandas are. I don't know what they're hoping for, but they're hoping for something. They are looking for the initiation. Mr. Save. save. He's getting some D warding action. He's going to get shackled, and the focus fire is there, but oh, he's going to get saved for the time being. Oh, the stop. company chop is there from Ram as he popped in the BKB along with the chemical rage. The Doom just dies. Black from the hole. It's very casually a nice black hole onto two. Axe is dead, and now Nightfall. Can you kill this man? 1v3. He is so strong. He already popped his Satanic, so they get him once. Very good initiation from Nine Pandas. They're gonna lose Miara though. GPK completely out of mana. Now that Nightfall is back with that second He's life. Too strong. Ramses is gonna get chopped down as well. Two very oh, low members of Nine Pandas. And yeah, that's the death of Kyo. Oh, he's gonna get another one. He does not have buyback at all as Solo's next on the list for Nightfall. Double kill for him and straight into the high ground. The buildings. Nightfall queuing up a little refresher orb, so they're putting themselves in a great position here. Yeah, that's two sets now, and on to the on mega to the third potential. Not even a tower there to hold them in place. And look for the buyback from Ramses any moment now, but it's going to be megas already, so it's it's already too late, so you might as well wait. Last chance defense here. <laughs> GPK. <laughs> He's, he's jumped so deep every time that they blink out just even with they a know. baby blink. <laughs> they know he's coming. <laughs> As Nightfall, I think you can just click away at this with Toronto think behind so. him, GPK. Lightning is going to be dodged by GPK, creating as much space as possible. Miero, okay, they have oh. a lot of damage onto Nightfall. He's going to get false problems and the BKB. Nice call from along with the Satanic, and now the focus is on Ramses. He's going to get chopped. Jump. No buyback this time, along with Solo. And Nightfall will be back to full HP. It's GG's come out. And nine pandas Ooh. go down to the lower bracket. While Bebop team will go on to the next round to face off against Team Spirit. I mean, this this team is just so scary. And when they get their draft, they won, and they play together. And even just one of them pops off, like this is uh, just one of the scariest teams. Can't wait for them to play against Spirit, who also look incredible. As